Hello everyone, today I do this extra video for two reasons. Leave 2018 behind with the greetings and tell you a little about the project I have in mind for the new year, a 2019 that's so close. Do we start with the project for the new year? Ok. Well, first of all, I think I found my way on how to set the videos, in the sense that I'm going to keep a certain format, especially regarding food videos. A first section concerning the history of the food in question, a part with the purely nutritional data, and finally some tasty recipe kept as healthiest as possible, but avoiding food Nazism. In fact, I believe that each of us must necessarily find their own food path and adapt in their own personal tastes. Of course, with this I do not mean that you have to eat junk food, but either said dishes. We have to find the right balance between our testes and the testes that our organism has. And uh, a compromise can be found. Just a little goodwill. As you say in English, readiness to change. Be ready to change. And are you ready to change? I'm always here to give you a hand with that. So, surely for all 2019 I will bore you with tomatoes, various vegetables, meat, legumes, tofu and whatever comes in my mind or that comes into your mind. Let me know what you want me to talk about and what we can examine in depth. Basically, I'm here for you. To continue with the news of the channel for 2019, for the food videos I would also add another playlist related to diets and food regimes, diets such as the Zone Diet or the Mediterranean Diet, or food regimes like veganism or vegetarianism, and so on. I want to get deep into details, giving you a little bit of the history on how a diet on a food regime was born, how it evolved, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of applying them to our daily lives. Because of course there is no uh, such thing as a perfect diet, but surely we have a proper nutrition for each and one of us. We are also unique under the food profile. We are unique based on our religious, political, environmental beliefs, and so why think is different for nutrition? Then the food tips will be even more present, even when it concerns the analysis of any hoaxes that run on the web. We will confirm if a certain method or food has in fact some particularly beneficial effects on our organism. On this subject I think I could spend centuries, there's a lot of bullshit on the web, but we will never analyze on our own, and above all we will go in, in a scientific way, analyzing the scientific literature based on the studies which analyze the subject using, using the scientific method, and certainly not believe in the first blog that we comes out by tipping key search on Google. I really hope I can make the channel grow in 2019 and make sure that my healthy message gets as much as people as possible. I will try to do always with irony, we have too many sad stories in the world and we have to add irony in everything in order to exercise our worries. Remember that a large dose of stress can alter your biological rhythms and consequentially impair your diet as well. And nobody wants that. I suggest you to enjoy the holidays with serenity, treat yourself to a few more exceptions in food. If you saw the previous video on the tips I gave on how to behave during the Christmas holidays, you know what I'm talking about and what I mean, so I'm not repeating myself here. Spend a happy and serene Christmas time, have fun, enjoy your holidays and rest as much as possible. Relax your mind, with all the eating you'll have, you need some holiday. Especially if you're like from southern Italy, like me. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you again in the first week of January. A hug to all of you from your Italian Irish nutritionist. Ciao!